Genesis chapter 19. And we're looking at verse. Where is it? 1926. But his wife, Lot's wife, looked back from behind him. And she became a pillar of salt. And this is, you know, the famous story of Lot's wife and the salt. But I also want to read to you that, um, boy, forgive me, <coughs> verse 17. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he, the angel, said, escape for thy life, look not behind thee. All right, when we got Genesis chapter 3 and Genesis chapter 2, God told Adam about the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, not to eat it. And we assume that maybe Adam told Eve or God told Eve. But when we come to the story of Lot's wife, the angels have got Lot, his wife, and his daughters. While they linger and hurry them out of the city of Sodom. And with Lot, his wife, and his two daughters, the angels tell them, don't turn around. And the Bible says his wife looked back from behind him. So Lot is ahead of his wife. His wife is, is behind and she turns to see her home. At the rejection of what the angels were speaking for God. Eve outright rejected the word of God. Thou shalt not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Let's, let's look at that. Thou shalt not do it. The angels who are sent by God. Uh, spokesmen for God. Grabs Lot and his wife and his two daughters, pull them out of out of Sodom, and tell them, "Look not behind thee." And the Bible records his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. And there are some places where you you know say that this pillar of salt is Lot's wife. You even find that pillar of salt in Pilgrim's Progress. But let's look at again a person who outright rejects the word of God. Now remember, the book of Revelation is Jesus' angel speaking with John to record the events of the book of Revelation. So angels are allowed to speak of God. And this woman outright rejects what the angels tell her, what God tells her. That's what Eve did. God says something, and mankind does completely opposite. And many say, you know, she looked back to her earthly, earthly possessions and her beautiful house and we don't know what made her turn back. We can assume it was the lifestyle. I mean, but this is the lifestyle that men came pounding and trying to, to break the door down so they could have sex with males that had come under the visitors of their roof. It is a, a people that God said they had sinned openly, and they were just wicked before God. And I'm going to come back over here. I think it's I think it's thirteen, 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 thirteen. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And there is something that his wife, I got to look back. Now she has family, 
Verse 14, Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-laws, which he had to have other daughters, which married his daughters, and said, Up, oh, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But they seem as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. So not only if there's earthly, worldly possessions, which the Bible doesn't say, but there's family for Mrs. Lot. And that Jesus will tell us to the Jewish people, as far as the tribulation period and the, and the, the abomination of desolation, and when God tells you to flee, remember Lot's wife. Don't look back. Because that desire is. And whether her desire is her, her, her daughters and her sons-in-laws or her earthly possessions, And now the city has already been overthrown, verse 25. And he overthrew the cities in the plain, and the inhabitants of the city, verse 25, that which, were, that which grew on the ground, but his wife looked back. So after the destruction, while all the stuff is going on, the heavenly, godly judgment upon sin fireworks, a sulfur, and fire. Lot's wife turns around, ooh, ah. And again, she, unlike Eve, she heard the command, look not behind thee. Now, stay not in the plane. Lot, his wife, and his two daughters are moving. They follow that part. But to look behind. Lot didn't look behind because he made it to the cave. His two daughters didn't look behind. They made it to the cave. But mama didn't. And whatever Mrs. Lot. She didn't think of the security up ahead spoken by God through his angels. She didn't think of the love of her husband. That, I got to be his help me. I got to I got to join with him and where he goes I will follow. And then my two daughters that are left. Yeah, I got daughters left in, in Sodom, but I got two daughters and if she's behind Lot and the daughters, she's looking at her husband, she's looking at her two daughters, would that be enough? And I don't know what it was back in Sodom that made her turn around. And we are to press toward the mark of Jesus Christ and not turn around, not do a U-turn. We are to repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and go forward, keeping our eyes up ahead. And that's where the failure is, whether the, the splendor of Sodom, which I don't know what it would have been, the splendor of her house, her, her kitchen, her, her living room, or her daughters, or her friends. We're not told. That's not the point of Remember Lot's Wife. And for the Jewish remnant, the tribulation is don't look back, move it, get going. Because behind you won't be Sodom burning. It'll be the Antichrist out to kill you. Get moving. Get going. It ain't worth looking behind. The stuff you're leaving behind ain't worth it. And to the Christian, what God has given you now, the new birth, move ahead, move forward. Don't look back at your old life. And there'll be times you'll give, listen, Paul gave his testimony. But don't dwell. Move on. Go forward. Live and breathe for Jesus. Because I'll tell you right now. She disobeyed the word of God. And remember Lot's wife. She's in hell burning right now. And if you can, if you could, if they have found the very pillar that is Lot's wife. I don't know. I'm not going to say yay or nay. That's not the point. 
her soul is right now in hell because she rejected God's word. Sin has been brought to us because Eve rejected the word of God. And when God says, go in all the world and preach the gospel and you don't obey God's word, there's a consequence. Eve's consequence was she brought sin and curse and death in the world. Lot's wife brought Lot had no had no wife no longer. The two daughters didn't have their mother anymore. She became a pillar of salt. What a wasted life. What can show for Lot's wife? Now Lot could do it, and his two daughters can do it. You see, that that's, that that was your mom. And what, what does she do, Dad? She disobeyed the word of God. And it doesn't matter whether she turned around when, when God told her. It's when God tells us something. And we don't do it. Or God tells us not to do something. And we do it. There's a consequence. Remember Lot's wife. For the Jewish raiment, it is it's fleeing to a place prepared for them. But for the Christian, you better do what God tells you to do. Or you better not do what God tells you not to do. There are consequences of sinning against God. And we may not get those consequences here on earth, but for the Christian, we'll get them at the judgment seat of Christ when we lack gold, silver, precious stones, crowns, and inheritance. Why? Because we disobeyed the word of God. And that goes all the way back to our great, 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 great grandmother when she disobeyed the word of God by taking that fruit and ate the fruit. Thou shalt not eat of the fruit. Eve ate of the fruit, gave it to her husband. Thou shalt not turn around. Lot's wife turned around. Now, what is God telling me and telling you in our life? Do this and we're not. Don't do this and we are. There's consequences from, Lot's, from the story of Lot's wife. 